Um, this is the way I normally look for stem rot. So you notice on this stem right here, I'm going to point at it, you see a lot of white mycelium. Looks like a, somebody hit it with a little bit of paint or something, and underneath it a brown lesion. <coughs> Here's an example of a very um, typical uh, pod rot. The, the color of the pod looks a lot like a brown paper bag. The pod's really brittle, snaps open easily, shreds a little bit. Um, very typical kind of pod rot. Here you see some peg rot, and of course this is where your yield loss is going to come from with stem rot. Um, a lot of these um, plants are going to um, completely shed the peg off because of the peg rot here. And with stem rot we're looking for brown lesions. Here you can see very typical brown lesion. We do see shredding with stem rot. Not only uh, do we see shredding with sclerotinia, but we do see shredding with stem rot. But you notice that even these shredded stems are still quite firm. They don't shatter apart when you touch them like they would with sclerotinia. Another good way to diagnose this disease is to do scratch. When you scratch it, you'll get that slight bit of shredding, brown color underneath, same as the brown on the top. Here's a stem that probably was hit with sclerotinia blight. So now you can clearly see the difference. Here the stem is very much a pale white in color. When you go to shred it, the stem has much less integrity than with stem rot. It, it basically kind of shreds apart when you poke at it a little bit. Here we can see again that nice white mycelium, stringy. It looks a little bit like flocking on a Christmas tree when you look at the inverted plants. And here we see a few sclerotia getting started at the base of the plant.